Yo, 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 Uh, let me just read the question. A large plank of mass m is moving with a velocity u on a horizontal frictionless floor. A block of mass small m is gently placed on the plank without any velocity. So I have this small block placed on this plank which is already moving with some speed u. And if the block slides a distance l on the plank, so this distance l is relative to the plank, the displacement of the block relative to the plank. Before it stops sliding, so eventually the relative velocity will become zero because eventually there will be no slipping and both the block and the plank will be moving with the same velocity. So what is the question? The question is asking us to find the coefficient of friction between the block and the plank. So let's look at the solution. So in order to solve this question, I'm going to use two key concepts. The first one is that the net work done by friction is frame independent. Now you can prove this mathematically but I am going to give you a physically intuitive reason for why the work done by friction is always frame independent. The work done by friction is going to convert the mechanical energy into heat energy or thermal energy. And you can just imagine that the heat energy has to be independent of frame of reference. You cannot have a body getting hotter by different degrees or different amounts uh, by in different frames of reference. Uh, re also remember temperature is also frame independent. So the net work done by friction has to be independent of frame. And another concept that I'm going to use is kinetic energy in the center of mass frame is equal to half mu u relative squared. Here, here mu is reduced mass. And reduced mass of formula is given by 1 by mu is 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. So I'm going to assume that you are familiar with this concept of reduced mass. All right, let's have a look at the solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the work energy theorem in the frame of center of mass of the system. So initially, the, blo the block is gently placed, so it is at rest in the ground frame initially, but the plank has some velocity u. So u relative initially is simply u. But finally, both of them are traveling with the same speed because slipping is stopped. And therefore, the final relative velocity is zero. And so, in the center of mass frame, the final kinetic energy is zero. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write work done by friction is equal to change in kinetic energy, everything in the center of mass frame. Now, work done by friction, like I said, is independent of the frame of reference. So, I know that the block travels a distance L in the frame of the plank. So, work done by friction in the frame of the plank is going to be minus mu mg into L, friction into distance. But that is also going to be the work done by friction in the center of mass frame. And this should be equal to the change in kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy in the center of mass frame is 0 because V relative is 0. And the initial kinetic energy in the center of mass frame is half mu u relative squared. U relative is u. And the reduced mass is given by small m into capital M by small m plus capital M. This is the basic formula for reduced mass coming from this equation. And that's it. Just solve for the question of friction and you will get the final answer. So I hope you guys have understood the solution. Uh, reduced mass is a very powerful tool. I am planning to upload more episodes in which I use reduced mass in order to solve questions in a short manner. But if you are not familiar with this concept or if you are not comfortable with this concept, you should definitely go back to your notes or your study material where you have learned the center of mass chapter and give a lot of emphasis to the reduced mass concept. So that's it for today. See you guys. Good night.